Tonight, Jaguar is going to be unveiling the new XF, but I've come to the launch party just a little bit early for a sneak preview. Now, I've always wanted to do this, so ladies and gentlemen, I give you the new Jaguar XF. It's packed with the latest technology, promises class-leading economy and handling, and is more spacious inside, despite being shorter and lower than before. This new car is more aerodynamic than its predecessor, but it's instantly recognizable as a Jaguar. Now, you've got this classic Jaguar bulge in the bonnet, which I think first appeared on an, an XJ back in 1968. You've got the current Jaguar grill. This car has LED headlamps, but you can get it with Xenons. And this is the S model, so it has bigger vents down here to give it a nice, aggressive look. Now, one of the key things about this car is this strong shoulder line. And if you look here, at the back, it just fades away, and apparently it took Jag's designers quite a while to get that just right. Now at the back, it's finished off with some tail lamps, which are like that from the F-Type and the XE. Despite its coupe-like profile, at 540 litres, the XS boot is bigger than that of an E-Class or a 5 Series. The opening is wide, and there's virtually no bootlet to make loading easier. Plus, unlike with many rivals, it has a Space Saver spare wheel. Now, the big news for the XF is here in the back seat. You have about that much more leg room and that much more headroom than the old car, which it doesn't seem like much, does it? But from where I'm sitting, it makes a massive difference. Now, this front seat here is in the position that was left by some guy who was over six foot, and I've still got lots of knee room. Headroom's really good as well. And the car has these little windows at the back here. That they're pretty small, but they do let more light into the cabin, and that helps with the feeling of spaciousness. The XF is even better in the front. There's the loop, like on the XJ, the steering wheel from the F-Type, while all models have stitching on the dash, aluminium inserts, and a pop-up gear selector and rotary air vents. You actually have just normal vents here in the middle, and that's because you've got this huge 10-inch screen. Now, that runs Jaguar's new infotainment system, and that features an Intel quad-core processor, which is super fast. The system also uses Ethernet connectivity to connect to all the car's systems, so you get 10 times quicker data transfer than in the old XF, and, and that helps improve things like the audio quality. The XF is also the first model to get Jaguar's new In Control Pro, which allows you to control various apps from the car and integrates them with things such as the sat-nav like never before. There's also a 12-inch TFT screen for the driver, though lesser models just get normal analog dials. You'll be able to get the XF with two petrol engines, including the supercharged V6 from the F-Type. There'll also be two diesels, the most important of which is this two-litre Ingenium. Now, it should be able to return over 71 miles per gallon, and it emits just 104 grams per kilometre of carbon dioxide. It's a very light engine as well. In fact, the XF is all about lightness. For instance, this gearbox, this six-speed manual, weighs just 45 kilograms. So, in theory, I should be able to shoulder press it. So. Mm. Yeah, it's probably a bit heavier with, with this plinth attached. In total, the new XF is up to 190 kilograms lighter than its predecessor. Once again, it's made out of aluminium, but the body is 11% lighter than before and 28% stiffer. Now, this should help improve the handling, and so should the fact you've got double wishbone suspension here at the front. Meanwhile, at the back, the XF uses something called integral link suspension. And what that does, it improves the rigidity in forward and sideways movement, but it also makes it more supple in the up and down movement. So that should make the car feel nice and precise, yet nice and comfy as well. The car also is available with adaptive dampers, and you get the electric power steering system, like on the F-Type. Jaguar claims its new car will set the benchmark for the executive car class in terms of driving dynamics while a new traction control system and the option of all-wheel drive will further boost the car's appeal when it arrives in showrooms in September.